Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to another episode of Monday Mongo. I'm Venkat and this is just me an open source channel. Right, in this video, uh, let's see how to enable authentication uh, in your MongoDB instance, right? Uh, and we'll also look at how to create user, how to change user's password, how to use um, the credentials to log into an instance and so on. Okay, so I hope you are uh, keeping up with my uh, series and the videos in this series about how to installing uh, MongoDB, whether it's via Docker or directly uh, using RPM or app get install, whatever it is. And you also have access to the Mongo shell, Mongo command line. So I've got Mongo. So I'm running um, Manjaro Linux, which is Arch based. So I've already installed the Mongo client. And I'm going to run uh, MongoDB as a uh, Docker container. Okay, let's get that started. First, let me start my Docker engine. sudo systemctl start docker. Okay, that's done. Docker run minus minus D to run in the daemon mode. I'm binding the port to my local host and binding the data. So data is a Docker volume that gets created for persistence. And we are running the Mongo command, which is going to start the MongoDB container. Okay, that's done. Let's start minus NLCP. Okay, so there you go. You've got uh, port 27017 listening. That's cool. Let's log into the shell. Um, before that, I'll, let me do Docker PS. So that's the Docker container that's running. Mongo, just run Mongo. Um, as I'm running it on the local host, as my MongoDB server is on local host, I'm just typing Mongo, but if you are to connect to a server, uh, a remote server that's running Mongo instance, you have to do MongoDB IP address of the server and the port number. Cool. Okay. So let me just type Mongo and I'm inside the Mongo shell. Okay. That's cool. Uh, it's CLS or control L to clear the screen. Show DBs, right? So we've got the admin, admin database, config and local database. To see which database we are currently in, just type DB. So we are in the test database. Let me switch to admin database. Use admin. Okay, so we are in the admin database. If I type show users, there are no users. Um, if I do show roles. So there are some predefined roles. Roles are for authorization. So you create a user, you attach roles, specific roles to that user. That tells what that user can perform on which database and so on. So roles are associated with each database. So we are using the admin database at the moment. So it has got some predefined roles, user, admin, any database, user, admin, root, restore, read, write, read, write, read, write, any database, read any database. So there are lots of roles associated with this database admin. Okay. Let me use switch to the test database, show users. We don't have any users show roles so as you can see here it has got its own set of roles um, it's a subset of the the bigger set of roles that we saw in the admin database user admin read write read enable sharding db owner and db admin so the thing to remember is each and every database has got its own role and creating users you have to specify how to create user in a specific database so that's the authentication database so you can create database, for example, if I do show DBs, you can create your user in admin database, or if you want, you can create a user in the test database, that's not an issue. So you can create a database user in any database. But the thing to remember is when you're authenticating, uh, when you're starting the Mongo shell to connect to a Mongo instance, you need to specify the database that the user has been created. So let's see all those things in detail. I keep typing clear. Okay. So I'm going to go to the MongoDB documentation. So enable authentication. Let's see what to do. So at the moment we are running without authentication. So anybody can log in. So we just logged in using Mongo. Anyone can log in, type the Mongo command and get access to the shell. They can create a database. They can do whatever. No authentication enabled by default. Okay, so the first step to enable authentication is before enabling authentication, you have to create a super user or an admin user uh, because using that user, we are going to log in. 
Okay, so we have started the database server and we are going to create a user in the admin database. So let's do use admin db. So we are in the admin database. Let's create this user. Control C, paste that. Okay, that's now created. If you want, you can um, look at the users now, show users, and you, you can see the user that we just created. And there is also another command called db.get users. It's again going to list you the same uh, information. Okay, so what we did just now is use the uh, create user method to create a new user and the username is my user admin. The password is abc123 and the roles we are attaching to this user is user admin any database, db is admin and also read write any database. So we are creating the user in the admin database and we are giving the permission user admin any database and read write any database. Although this role and the user has been created in the admin database. This role specifies that he can admin, the user can admin any database, read write any database. So it, it doesn't apply just to the admin database, it applies to all the databases, right? Okay, so we've created the user, let's try to log in. I'm going to exit out of it and then docker ps. I'm going to stop the docker container because we need to run uh, with minus minus auth option to enable authentication. Docker stop peaceful something. Docker remove peaceful. Okay, so now I'm going to run the docker run command again, but now passing minus minus auth option to the Mongo. Okay, so that's running now. Um, there are two ways to authenticate to the Mongo server. One is during the connection Mongo and you can pass minus username, my user admin and minus P and it will ask you for the password. And the other option is you don't have to specify any username or password, just type in Mongo. You are in there, but you're not authenticated yet. You can just do some commands, but not all commands. Let's say show databases. You see an empty list because you're not authorized to see the databases. Uh, DB, I'm the test database. Let's use admin, show users. And there you go, you get the error. User info requires authentication. So we haven't authenticated to the server yet. We just uh, enter into the shell and we need to authenticate. Okay, let's do that. Let's do the same thing again. Let's log into Mongo. And if I do db.auth, the username, my user admin, and the password, abc123. Error, authentication failed. Um, do you know why? because we are in the test database and the user was created in the admin database. So first we need to switch to the admin database. Sorry, use admin. We need to switch to the admin database and then do db.auth, my user admin and the password, abc123. That's good. So now I can do show users and you can see that result. Okay, so so now let's log in using the command line, mongo minus u, user admin minus p. So I'm not telling about the authentication database because uh, the admin database is going to be the default database. If you don't specify any authentication database, it assumes that it's going to check the user against the admin database by default. Okay, and the password is abc123. Cool, we are logged in, show users show user there's no user use admin show users and there you go you can see the users um, you can create multiple users with the same name provided you create them on different databases so you can have a uh, same name for multiple users on different databases okay so that's done let's do one more testing let's create a user in uh, in a test database, in a different database, not the usual admin database, okay? Clear the screen and let's go further down. There will be an example here. Yep, use test. Let's switch to the test database. Use test. Switch to DB test. Let's create another user. Control C, paste. Okay, so that's created. If I do show users, there is this user and the user name is my tester 
and the password is XYZ123 and the roles we attach to him are read write so he can read and write to the test database and he can only read to the reporting database we don't have the reporting database but if you create the reporting database he will only have read privileges the user will have just the read privileges but not so this is an example this is just to show you that you create user in any database you want that doesn't restrict the user to using just that database but he can use any database uh, given you've given the appropriate roles uh, for that user okay let's exit out now let's log into the uh, MongoDB server using that user. Mongo minus user. This time it's my tester. Is it my tester? Yeah. And I'm going to enter the password and it's going to fail because we have created the user in test database, not in the admin database. XYZ123. There you go. Connection failed. And now if I do minus P minus minus authentication database is test and if you do XYZ123 you are logged in okay use we are in the test database show users not authorized on test execute command user info but he can only read and write to the uh, databases so that restricts his privilege okay so what we just did was pass the minus minus authentication database uh, as part of the mongo shell command if you have created the user on a database that's different to admin database any other database other than admin you have to pass the authentication database uh, to the command line otherwise it won't work okay let's do one more testing log into mongo shell without passing any username any credentials and here you can do db.auth because this user is created in the test database and by default we are logged into the test database we can do db.auth my tester and the password is xyz123 we are logged in okay show collections nothing use admin show dbs nothing because he hasn't got any permission on the admin databases show users so this user my tester doesn't have any permission on the admin so he was not able to list the users or list the collections or anything okay <clears throat> let me log out the final thing i wanted to show you is how to change a uh, user's password mongo minus u my user admin uh, the admin user has got access to change any user's password so login a b c one two three i'm logged in use admin show users so admin is the database where we have the my user admin database so if you want to change the password for this user the command is db dot change user password the first option is the username my user admin and i'm going to change the password to just admin okay that's done let me log out mongo minus u user admin i'm going to try and log in with the old password abc123 connection failed let me try and log in using the new password which is admin okay there you go we are in show dbs show users and everything is working fine cool i think i that's all i wanted to show you in this video thank you so much for your time watching this video this was the fourth video in the series first one was the series kickoff second was one was about the installation and getting started third one was we saw about databases collections documents querying and all those things this one is about authentication users roles and i haven't decided what to do for the next video although i've got lots of lists but uh, anyways if you've got any questions on this video don't feel don't hesitate uh, feel free to leave me a comment um, like okay if you like the video hope it was useful please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i will see you all in the next episode of monday mongo bye bye